Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today I'm taking a look at this uh, Prima projector. So this is the X2 that I have here. And this does have 200 lumens and uh, the resolution is 640 by 480. And uh, it also says it can go 30 to 200 inches, but obviously looking at 200 lumens, anything over 100 is not gonna be very bright. So looking inside, we do have the projector itself. Also, it comes with a remote and a little small bag here. You can store the projector and of course the power adapter. And uh, it does come with a mini tripod as well and HDMI cable. So right now we're gonna go ahead and check out the unit itself and see what we have in the back now. Looking at the back here, we do have two USB ports, power in, also a headset input and the HDMI input as well. Looking at the side, we do have the micro SD card input and the on and off switch. And on the other side, we do have the focus wheel. Uh, it is a little bit sensitive, so you kind of have to move it slow just to find the right focus. And in the front, we do have the lens cover as well, which works out pretty good. So right now it's time we go ahead and turn the unit on and see what we have here. The first thing you see is since this is an Android projector, uh, you kind of have uh, many options here. We do have the Play Store as you see there. Uh, you're able to even go to the settings here, uh, just like you would on your phone. We also have the Keystone adjustment here as well, which is pretty good. Uh, because most of these uh, smaller projectors usually lack the Keystone features, but this one does have it, which is pretty good. And then we do have YouTube. So let's go ahead and watch a video and also test out the audio on this. So right now we're going to go ahead and hear how loud it is when it turns on. So taking a look at this thing uh, when it comes to size, it's not much bigger than your phone. It is a little bit thicker obviously. And the one issue that I had with this projector is I tried connecting my uh, Nintendo Switch and it just was a little bit pixelated. Uh, YouTube videos would play fine. Uh, but just the text to read, it's a little bit hard here and there. But uh, looking at the small factor this projector is, I, I wasn't expecting that much anyway. But it's a fun little projector to have with you if you're going camping. But for the size of this thing, it does a pretty good job. Also looking at the top here, we do have the controllers. Let's say you don't want to use the remote that it comes with. Uh, usually I don't, but uh, you're able to control everything from the top of the projector, which is very nice there. But you have the option with a controller as well. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Also, if you're new here, click that subscribe button for more videos like this. I'll see you guys next time.